Good day, everybody. I'm Coach Ben, and welcome to my first, very first ever Minecraft walkthrough. I am trying to get out there on the digital playground and do some recess duty, and here I am in my very first Minecraft one brick red schoolhouse, as you can see. Of course, it's not quite your traditional red schoolhouse, but uh, hopefully it's a little bit of an homage to it. Picked it up about an hour ago. I downloaded it on the App Store, and I am on my iPad device. So here we go. Let's go on in, and I'll give you a tour. All right, and of course, I have a clock in my hand. So here we go. And right when you come in here, shut my door after me, you can see some cubbies upon entering. And here you have some cubbies along, not only with cubbies, but books. Now this functions for two purposes. Not only is it a cubby, it is also a little bit of a divider. Oops, kind of getting caught in my own schoolhouse. So on the other side of the cubbies, the first thing you're going to see is you're going to see a little bit of a traditional student classroom. Um, the students are grouped in fours, tables of four, and of course you can see I have a, a small class, but doesn't mean they're all there. Um, I have two whiteboards, one here and one here, which are also serving as projectors. Up here in the tops you can see these power crystals with the glowing blocks are the projectors. So I'm going to have two of those so I can really even have students present their information or I can present my information on two. Um, over here, again, it's a little bit of a library, and in the library you can see hopefully a cozy, relaxing couch where students are going to be able to sit back and dive into a book. Now, over here in my next section of my schoolhouse, I have a carpet. Of course, uh, I never think kids are too old for carpet, but um gives me a little extra room and gives the kids a little chance to move around the classroom. And again, you can see the projector and again on the whiteboard. Now if you notice I tried to include quite a bit of natural light and windows in the reading areas but the rest of the classroom is really surrounded by whiteboard including these tables. Um, these tables would be places where students could actually use uh, whiteboard markers to collaborate and again lots of room for students to use the whiteboards and collaborate. Over here I have a crafting table because, hey, let's have some arts and crafts or maybe some building some engineering over here with seats and some books for references. Um, surrounding the top of the house, you're going to see lots of different beautiful st either student artwork, posters, references. I'm not quite sure what they are, but um, they're going to definitely brighten up the classroom. So other than that, we have... Our, class, our schoolhouse. So overall we have a total of three projectors with uh, three whiteboards to project on. Um, lots of whiteboards for student to, students to write on. Lots of access to books. Access to the carpet. And I can also see lots of paintings and student work hung up around the classroom. Um, lots of windows for bringing in extra light. And of course the imagination is the limit when you have a glass ceiling. Uh, the torches are a little bit extra high to keep them out of student reach. And plus, in the world of Minecraft, there's not a lot of sources of light besides the glowstones and the torches. So hopefully this looks like a school you might enjoy coming to, and I look forward to expanding it in my next episode. Thanks for watching!